Hello guys, it's a long time since Janu January, at the end, the fourth week of January, I begin to speak about Dow Jones, and then we have the correction, and I begin to follow all the stocks of Dow Jones. I told you before that GE has real problems. Now this, before it was delisted, in 26 June 2018 okay so if you if you go to my channel you watch the videos that I speak about Dow Jones you will find whenever I speak about Dow Jones and I enter to the 30 stocks I will give an opinion that GE is doing too bad so understand that the price is always right and when there is a price, it means, in general, you don't, you don't need even to go to what we call financial statements. The price tells you everything, okay? So let me just remind you of the, of the price of GE, and then uh, we, will ch we will see the chart of uh, Walgreen, okay? So let's go to the chart. Now, as I told you, this here, as you can see, uh, is 2016 let's say uh, 20 December 2016 it means what does it mean for you uh, this this idea okay it's here now this is the end of 2016 it means the beginning of uh, 2017 you see the decline you see it very very well and it's going down, it's going down, it's going down until we have the correction. When the correction happens, let's say it's 29 January. 29 January. Okay, it's here. So let's uh, let's make uh, something here. This is where the correction happens in the market. But you see, 2017, it was a bad year for GE. Now, Let's see, for example, the Dow Jones. What, what was the Dow Jones doing in 2017? Okay? You see that the Dow Jones, here, it's 2017, the beginning of 2017. Okay? This is just to see how exact is the information when you are following uh, indexes or stocks. For example, this is the beginning of 2017, and uh, this is the end, let's say the end of 2017, beginning of 2000, uh, let's say here, 2000, not yet. Not yet, let's see here. Uh, yes. So you look at this uh, chart here and you see how Dow Jones, most of these stocks are going up into an uptrend. You see that? Okay. You see how good it is, the Dow Jones? It means 29 most of the 29 of stocks in the Dow Jones, they were so good. But if you take GE, it's the opposite. You see, it's a downtrend. So this is, in general, how to just see things. And whenever I speak about GE, I always speak, uh, give my opinion, which uh, my opinion is always based on price, because the price doesn't lie. What does it mean? It means when you see something which is a stock decline for a long time, understand that mutual funds have left this company. It doesn't mean that all the mutual funds, because some mutual funds they still um, hold, and there are shareholders. It means the owners of GE, okay? 
and it doesn't mean that they, they are not making money or no it, it makes money and and so on but there is a decline i have no idea about the reasons for uh, general electrics okay i have no idea what's what's going on into this company inside but for me uh, what's the most important thing is just to know is the price going up or no because how how will i make my money okay i'm not charging this uh, company but in general all the investors how do they make uh, their money they make their money if the stock is going up stock going down you lose money this is for investors so let's now go and check um the company that replaces or that replaced uh, GE in 26th of June. So let's go there. Okay. So it's Walgreen. Understand that uh, most of you here in, in USA, uh, you know Walgreen. It's just a drugstore, like Right Right Aid, like uh, uh, CVS, like the other uh, thing. Uh, if you if you you want to know <coughs> these companies that are in uh, retail in drugstores industries <coughs> you can just go to uh, drug stores industries into retail and you can see that okay now <coughs> um uh, Walgreen is not doing that much let's see let's see it's uh, the yearly you can see that Walgreen has been like uh, one dollar ninety cent in eighty four one na uh, uh, one ninety cent it was in eighty four it means this is the IPO when when uh, uh, when the launch Walgreen now it goes to um, before it goes to ninety seven dollars thirty and then it goes down to fifty nine zero seven and now it is on the 70 to 90. So this WBM will be uh, the new uh, the new stock that you see in uh, Dow Jones. Now let's go let's go back. So understand that General Electric it was running into the Dow Jones for 110 years it's a long it's more than a century and it is always there but understand when uh, the dow jones when they see that this company is collapsing or it's not as used as it used to be before so they make the decision to delist it and put another company which is walgreen now this story why i always tell you about these stories it is just to make sure you understand that whatever company in the world can collapse it doesn't mean for other people they say oh uh, it resists uh, the test of time and it has 100 years or 200 years and this will never help a company it was 110 years in Dow Jones and then in June 26 it get delisted and another company comes this is how the stock market works there is no nothing that goes up forever and there is nothing that uh, goes down forever it may be go bankrupt or get delisted okay so thank you very much for watching please if you have questions let me know thank you